Hello and welcome back. So in the last video, you saw how to display a list of items using a list view element in your layout XML file. Now in this video, I want to introduce list activity class to you. Now a list activity class makes the displaying of the list items pretty simple. So if you want to display a list of items and that is what you want to do and not display other things on the app screen, then Android provides this cool feature which is like the list activity class. So what you do is you just extend the list activity class in your activity. So I created a new activity which is scrolling activity and I just extend the list activity class here and the cool part is that I don't need to uh, create a layout file for this. I don't need to use a set content view in, in my activity. And other thing is I don't need to use any event listeners here. Although I do, I do need to implement a method um, which takes care of user actions. But uh, you don't need to have an event listener. You don't need to have a layout file. All that is handled by Android in the back in the background so using a list activity is recommended if you are going to display a list of items now um, in the, actually I want to talk about adapters also but I want to take that up in the next video um, because that is a very important feature which can be used with list activity uh, in order to bind list activity to a data source. It can be a database, it can be a web service, a Java file which, um, which uh, provides static data. So I'll show you an example in the next video and how you can use list activity with an adapter to display a list of items. But I just wanted to give you a heads up and introduce you to the list activity class. I'll check in the code and you can check it out on github so i hope you get an idea go ahead and try this out like create an activity and extend the list activity and in the next video we'll dive deeper and we'll get uh, familiar with the adapters okay so until next time see you bye